And so, for lack of a better word, I'm just going to call it a tucking in exercise. I'm going to see if I can get their heads to tuck into the inside. And what this does, that really encourages the horse. If he thinks he can, uh, if he thinks he can move these cattle, uh, that's confidence. You know, you can teach him defense anytime. <laughs> that's, that's one of the easiest things to teach a horse, I think. It's offense that uh, a confident offense, you know, is what is uh, is pretty rare. And I can't achieve that if I keep if I take my eye off the cow. See, when I when I'm going around here, I'm going to be looking way ahead to see what cattle I can point them to. Uh, I got some valuable experience with that. I didn't realize at the time, it was years ago in Nevada when we were moving big bunches of cattle and you needed to bend the lead. You couldn't bend the lead away from you if you stayed out too wide, you'd draw them to you. So I didn't realize it, but at that point in time I was doing it. You know, it took me a while to learn it, but, but uh, uh, it's, all, it's all the same. And then, then, I'll, then I might show you how to get one a little defensive. Uh, if, if they get so they don't care too much, I will give them a reason to care. Not by what I do, but by what I can set that cow up to do to them. See, there's, there'll be consequences. Uh, after I get my horses, now that's the beginning, uh, getting them to turn away from you. After, I'll see if I can get a cow to find a cow that I can drive out there, push away from me. Then I'm going to work on getting the cow to come to me.